Hey everybody, my name is Wellens, and let's check out The Forgotten City today. A time loop mystery game set in ancient Rome where if one person sins, then everybody dies. So I assume we're trying to get someone to not sin, get everybody to not sin so that we can all survive this or something like that? Apparently this originally started as a Skyrim mod, but it was so good that I picked up a few writing awards and now it's been turned into a full game. I have been checking out the reviews and they look pretty good, so I am pretty excited for this. The game was developed by three people over four years. A mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Well, that sounds like our kind of game, right? We just talk to a whole bunch of people, but not actually get anything concrete done. <laughs> hey! You're alive! When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Did she just say phone? In ancient Rome? Okay. Hmm? Okay, we are... I'm Wellens in ancient Rome, so... Well, Lenzius. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I was searching for ancient ruins. Oh, okay, we're like picking our background. Archaeologist, years of studying history give you occasional insights into the ancient world. Soldier, you have a military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. Oh, okay, so we can kill people. And we can defend ourselves? Or are we a fugitive? Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet, and you're 25% faster when sprinting. Or, oh, I barely remember anything. Amnesiac. Your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, so you just forget how to feel, <laughs> making you 50% harder to take down. Mmm. Soldier seems kind of different, though. Like, you get an actual physical thing that's different. I'm gonna... well, if we're gonna talk to people, maybe it'll help to know a little bit more. I don't want soldier, but <laughs> I kind of want to be an amnesiac too. Let's do archaeologist. I was searching for ancient ruins. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that... I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Okay, I got washed down a river and now you're trying to make me do stuff? Okay, that's right, in the beginning it said present day, so it's like... modern day right now with phones and all that, although your dress doesn't seem... like the way you dress doesn't seem that modern. Mind if I ask some questions first? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy, I just... What do you want to know? Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Why are you speaking English in Italy? I don't know how to speak any Italian. Pizza, spaghetti. Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But... Maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Oh, I thought he was your friend. What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. 
Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? You're not even gonna tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Oh, I'm kind of suspicious of her. Look! Look, she's looking away. Look at that. That's suspicious. Mm, I'd really like to know, especially if I'm gonna be helping you. Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's... Karen. It's okay, I'm not laughing. Okay, so they're trying to drive home here that this is really, really modern, because this is a... This is like a 2021 thing. Well, thank you for saving my life, Karen. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? What can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... <laughs> the way she's darting around her eyes makes me feel like she's trying to lead me into a trap. <laughs> Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. She doesn't need me though, she has the boat. She can just go home if she wants to. But she's like, you know, hey, if you get Al, then we'll, I'll bring the both of you back. But she doesn't need any of us. Well, that's all the questions I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. A flashlight. A modern flashlight. Heavy-duty, battery-powered flashlight. Very modern. Very plastic-looking. Thank you. Quid pro quo. Enter the ruins. Well, it's definitely got a bit of a Skyrim feel to it. Very much not modern. Maybe that's why they had to reinforce all the time that, you know, hey, it's a Karen and phones and flashlights. Back already? What's up? Nah, I don't think you have more. Oh, of course. What did you want to know? Nothing. Never mind. Thank you. What am I? Great. Was there something else? No. I'll be going now. Thanks again. And please, hurry. Okay. Oh no, this uses my mouse wheel. I have a really old mouse, so the wheel doesn't work that well. At least it's not a weapon, it's just a flashlight here. This is gonna run out of battery. Oh, I feel like it would be a better idea if we went together, Karen. This is kinda... Even though I am an archaeologist, this feels a little bit... creepy. Okay. Yeah, since they mentioned that we might get caught by people, we might have to be chased around. Maybe having our flashlight on and off is going to be important to make sure we're not caught. Al's note. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa!
I was gonna look at the... the cups and whatever. Al? How am I gonna know who's Al? Just based on what they tell me, I guess. Feels like we've been transported to another place now. Oh, what does that mean? Archaeologist insight. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Mm. If one person sins, the rest of us die. Always remember, they're watching. Hey, thank goodness I'm an archaeologist. I can read this. What is that sound? Who are you? What is that knife sound? Is this horror? A young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. There's a lot of golden statues here. The many shall suffer for the sins of one. N Al's note earlier mentioned something about how they can have all the gold, but it'll be stuck down here. First of all, what counts as a sin? A Roman gladiator, mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? Without a weapon. All of them seem mildly surprised. Oh god. The young Roman woman. It looks like she was begging for her life. The impression I'm getting is that people have been turned into statues, as opposed to these statues being made by somebody. Okay, seriously, what is that sound? It's not me, right? Me walking around? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ruins. The very definition of ruins. Roman legionary in a state of terror. And the unspoken question. What made him so afraid? Hey, you're running the wrong way. Whoa, this is a huge cavern, my god. I was expecting to find people here. Like, living people we can talk to. A woman praying for help that never came. To look for Al, to look for priceless artifacts. I got washed up on a riverbank and the first thing I think of is, hey, let's enter this random ooh, ruins where there's artifacts. A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Oh no. Oh no. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. 
Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Well, I found out. The rope seems to imply that he ended things on his own terms. Because whatever is beyond the door is so frightening that that would be preferable. Okay, so if we saw Al as a golden statue, then yeah, these are definitely not made by somebody. These are people. People who have somehow been frozen into golden statues. And instead of going back and telling the woman, hey, I found Al, no, we are gonna... Oh, a man begging the gods for mercy. I don't like this. The remains of a human, whoever it was, died a long, long time ago. Okay. Okay, no, so when dropping down the hole, we were probably still in present day, but now we're probably going somewhere else. Ah! Oh, back when the place was glorious? A Roman relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Figure out how to return to your original time. Okay, now we're seeing alive people. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I... I was praying. I'm Walonzius, and I've just come from... <laughs> Shrine of Proserpina? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. <laughs> nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? Wait, are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time, who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? I- the only Latin I know is Pig Latin. If I say this one, it is the truth, and this is also the truth, but it sounds like a lie. I'm... Wallonzius, and I've just come from the future. Uh... no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit... you know... Not right in the head. That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Oh, how kind of you. Thank you. Can you take me to the doctor? Um, seriously, what's today's date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? What year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? So it's 65 CE? CE? No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking, it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. Ooh. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Sounds good. So it's about 2,000 years ago. More or less. Follow me. When I 
first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Oh my god, this place- Only 23 oh. of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the Magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be Magistrate for much longer. Aurelia. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. She's busy. 23 people here. Guessing we're gonna... Oh, whoa. Guessing we're gonna intimately uh, politics. know all of them? I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Okay, that means she knows a lot, and she's going to be pivotal in helping me. Yup. We just gotta go talk to the Magistrate first. Don't steal anything. Don't hurt anyone. Don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the oh. forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. So if we were a soldier and we came with a gun, then immediately we would have already broken a rule. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. A bit of a caste system here. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. He already knows I'm here? What's this about? I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. Actually, I don't think carrying a gun is breaking the golden rule, right? Whatever it is. There's only one, apparently. All right, lead the way. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. Stranger. I'm sorry, I just completely disregarded Horatius. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being election day. Election day. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I think it's gone on long enough, and Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. How is he going to do that? I don't think we should, like, you know, show our allegiance to anybody, because if you're somebody's friend, you're somebody's enemy too. He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you, and it gets out, It'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. So this guy's part of the other group. Right now I'm following the guy that's taking me to Sentius. Sounds great. Can I help in any way? We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. What's your story? Or who are you going to vote for? Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own door, how can we trust him to protect us? What happened to his daughter? What's your story? The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. 
why are you dressed like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. Uh, fair enough. Uh, we should probably just meet Sentius first. Okay, so it's election day. We have two camps, Sentius and Maliolus. Psst, do you know how we out of here? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. Oh, that's not what I meant. Um, I'd like to meet Maliolus. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. I have a very valuable light producing cylinder. Would you like that? <sighs> Isn't soliciting bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a, a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. <sighs> this guy's full of himself. Alright, what do you want? Dunno. Something good. I'll see what I can do. Just make it good. I'll be going now. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. They're always watching. I am so sorry, dude. I, uh, kinda lost track. Sentius and Melolius. Meliolus. Same excrement, different smell. <laughs> Maybe you should focus on getting rid of that. Hey, Horatius. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Why do I get the feeling you lot had something to do with Centilla's disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the golden rule is gonna protect you. Got it? <laughs> As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. I'm sorry, do you still want to take me to Sentius? What now? Oh, I've totally broken it. He's not taking me anymore. <laughs> Shoot. <gasps> okay, well, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll go by myself. What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. So the Magistrate is Sentius. What's your story? I'm a legionary of the First Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the Magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the Magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds down towards the river, and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Another person that's floated down a river to get here? I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Uh, give me one second, okay? Alright. Because I would like to lower the sound effects a little bit so we can hear stuff. 
Yeah, because that, that water fountain next to us has been kind of loud. It's still loud. <laughs> what now? Do you know... Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Okay. A register of each person in the city in alphabetical order. Okay, Aurelia, Claudia, Decius. If we're trying to nail down one specific person, then this would be very useful to have. I think for the moment I'll just keep this on me. Domitius, Duilius, Equitia, Fabia, Galerius, Galerius, Georgius, Hannibal. Foreigner, Hannibal. Hmm. Horatius, Kabash, Iulia, Livia, Lucretia, Maliolus. Everyone has classes. There's a caste system here. Tavia, Navia, Rufius, Sentia, Centella. Oh, these are both Sentius's daughters, but Centilla is missing. Sentia is being protected at the villa right now. Sentius. Patrician. This is a higher class person. Ulpi Ulpius. Commoner. Virgil. Thanks. Of course. What do you think of all the golden rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal. That's awful. Course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. You make it sound like it's such a good thing, but uh, I feel like some countries have this sort of atmosphere among their citizens right now, and it's not a good thing. It makes it so that family and friends turn on each other in favor of the state, and why would anybody ever want that? Where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war the law falls silent. Our worlds are very different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. Are you saying you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms and... Those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Stoic. This guy's a stoic. Let's talk about something else. If you like. Who are you gonna vote for? Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. The Maliolus is pretty much expected by everybody to win. Well, I don't know if I want to extend my help to everybody here. Can I help? I appreciate the thought, but you're new here, and I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. 
Can we talk about Centella? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Sometimes fresh eyes help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. He doesn't sound like he doesn't want me to look for her. Ho oh. ho. No, I don't think so. He would be really against me trying to look for her then, if that was the case. Did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better though, I suppose. I'll save that for later. Let's talk about something else. Fine. Do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. You love quoting this guy, huh? I'll be going now. All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. Yeah, so if he did anything, I don't think he would say that. Ooh, we got completely sidetracked here. I am so sorry, you were supposed to take me to the Magistrate. So I guess I'll just go there myself now. If I know where that is. M magistrate? Ink jar. A ceramic ink jar. The ink appears to be made from soot and water. We have a basic understanding of what sorts of things are going on in around here right now. There is an election that's gonna end this afternoon. Brass mirror, polished to a rudimentary mirror, which has been used for applying makeup. So a woman's room, maybe? Small vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. I know it. The one time I don't drag it around and look at it, there's gonna be some like hidden contraption. So I'm gonna drag all of these. Cosmetic jar. Some sort of powder. No, from Santilla. Santilla writes that she has decided to escape. Oh, this is Santilla's room. Santilla to Sentius and Sentia. May Clementia give you the strength to forgive me. I am sorry to have to leave you this way, but I have found a way to escape, and I must take it. I hope we meet again someday. Everyone is here because they're stuck here. That's what it sounds like. And they can't leave. But Centilla might be a clue because it sounds like she's escaped. Oh my god, is this a crime? No, 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 I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. I know what happens in Skyrim if you steal. Ares, the god of war, known to the Romans as Mars. The sensitivity on this is crazy. Sentia's journal. Dear diary, today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost thoughts. <laughs> Who writes like this? I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets, Sentia. Okay, she was doing it on purpose. <laughs> well, she's being held prisoner by her father right now, right? Her father sounds kind of controlling. But maybe also just because his first daughter's already disappeared, so he's really quite worried. There's a stove. Unpleasant cooking with poor ventilation. A shovel made of bronze that smells like ash. The carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. What? That's the first time I've heard of that. Really? Interesting. Are orange carrots some kind of genetic engineering thing? Beginning to think we shouldn't get close to statues anymore. 
Sentia? Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I am not a barbarian. What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. I am so sorry. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I'm... I'm not from around here. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Look at the way her eyebrows go, my goodness. What do you think about the Golden Rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Maybe it's best you don't go around insulting gods, just in case. Oh, I'd say it to their faces if they had the courage to show themselves. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, so her suspicion as being the one responsible for why her sister disappeared seems to be lowered, because she's very passionate about this. Well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Hmm, I suppose we will. I hope we don't find Santilla, because that means she would have successfully escaped. All we gotta do is find out how she did it. Do you know a way out of here? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Mm. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. So we're trying to figure out the relations between everybody in the city here and, you know, trying to figure out where she is by extension? Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Sentius? Sentia? Sentilla? Why are your names all so similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. I like a little Sentia. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Get out, you horrid barbarian. Right, so if we insult people, they will stop talking to us, which I suspect is what would have happened to Horatius if we insinuated that he was the one who was responsible for this. 
Okay, so the magistrate is not here. This is where... This is the villa. This is where Cynthia is being kept. Well, then where the hell... Oh! What the... What are you... Ave. Hello. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Wellensius. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. The way he pointed behind him just now was not what I expected out of a magistrate, but okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I don't believe it. Can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. These questions will be available later. Thank you. Okay, so presumably something bad will happen as we're wandering around the city later. We know this because otherwise there's no reason for me being here. Well, what counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As Magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Okay, we don't know what counts as breaking the rule, because no one here has broken it before. So therefore, we just live really sinlessly, or as sinlessly as we can hope to. Well, we know blasphemy isn't one, because Sentia earlier was swearing at the gods. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna piss him off. Barbaric? 
barbaric. What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? No, I can't. When people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? You know what? <laughs> my mistake. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. You might be wondering why I didn't ask about the 10 million things that could have counted as barbaric just now. But uh, let's, let's start out on a good front first, especially because these questions will be available later, as it says here. What did you mean when you say Proserpina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? You're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? It's better not to ask. I didn't see anything. Lie all you want, but I see the truth in your eyes. How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Oh, so this guy's basically the one who summoned me here. And now we're back in time to a point where... He hasn't done the ritual yet? Oh, this is gonna get complicated quick. I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well... It pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Uh, <laughs> with your daughter? Fair enough. Okay. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? 
What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Do you think it could be related to Santilla's disappearance? Ah, so you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but that was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule, so I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. Hmm, how do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you, I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Well, you just said I shouldn't not suspect anybody here. Fair point. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Come on, tell me what you really think. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. Of course you'd say that. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Yes. I think so. Okay, that's all the questions I had. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Doesn't seem like I have much choice. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Good point. I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right, I'll get started. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. I'll get right on it. This will prioritize a new quest, showing its objective markers only. Okay. Okay, so to quickly summarize what's gone on here, we've been transported to an ancient Roman city. And us being transported here implicitly says that somebody in this city, so the city has a very strange Bobby. rule where if you commit a sin, you will be turned into a statue of gold. Because I've been sent here, it's a sign that somebody is about to commit this sin. And my job is to try to figure out who's doing that, why they're doing that, and stop it. Along the way, we've also learned about Sentius' daughter having gone missing already. She somehow escaped. Very interestingly enough. Kinda wanna see if we can get to the point where... I will try to guard you. Oh wow, okay. I wanna see the sin happening. If one person commits a sin here, everybody will die, including me. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's dead! She dead? 
Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia, she was a good woman. I was hoping to chat. Should I come back later? No, no, now is fine. I can't afford to wallow here. And I need the distraction. What's on your mind? What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Cynthia's made it sound like everybody here is so well behaved, but that guy who doesn't want to sell the cure? That sounds pretty evil. And this lady got poisoned without somebody breaking the golden rule? Wow. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that Genetricum Fututo and scratching his eyes out. Genetricum Fututor, we do not know this word. Horatius also mentioned it earlier. Stealing? Well, no stealing is allowed. We could steal earlier, though, from Sentia. I wonder if that would have been breaking the golden rule. Oh, that's dangerous talk. Then you'd better get me that Sylphium quickly, hadn't you? Okay. Okay. Which means we gotta talk to that evil guy who wasn't willing to part with the antidote, huh? Decius. Can I...? Yes, we have a lot of subquests here. Point of origin. That's how I go back. I gotta create a time paradox. The golden rule. Figure out who's most likely to break it and tell Sentius. Oh, because everyone has some sort of, um... They have sinful thoughts. Who is going to be the one to execute their sinful thoughts? We don't know yet. There is Maliolus's villa. We got to also figure out what happened to Centilla. Democracy. Figure out how to make Maliolus drop out of the election. Well, one of the graffiti said that Maliolus and Sentius were basically both crap. They were garbage. We've only talked to Sentius right now, and he seems like an okay guy. Yeah, he seems okay, and he's willing to sacrifice himself in a ritual to save everybody here. Okay. I've got a coin. Denarius. An ancient Roman coin made of silver. Flashlight. I made the mistake of stepping through. Well, how come Al died then? Al is not one of the 23 people here, but Sentius didn't mention him. Decius, commoner, merchant. Form. Can I put some notes here? Oh, maybe this populates with notes. Oh, it does. Yeah, once I hear someone say something, this will populate. Okay. And they give you a little summary here too. Good, good. Salve. Salve. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. I'm Decius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia, but we just have to carry on, don't we? I need some sulfium resin. Certainly. 
All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. I have one. <sighs> let's not let's not piss him off. I don't have that kind of money. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget. <laughs> What's your story? Okay, now it's saying I can steal it from a stall. You mean how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Mm, let's hear it. All right. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, open to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named a camphor, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. You chose the cart, didn't you? Of course I chose the car. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl if I still have my money. Of course. So I put my hand on the car, and I guess she realised what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Yes, everyone got washed down a river here. I think I see where this is going. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. That's strange. It sounds like everyone came here by boat, or the river, really. I came from the future, but everyone here came from their own normal time? <laughs> Commiserations. Thank you, friend. But it turns out it might have been a stroke of good fortune because this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you, there must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'll be going now. Very well. Another time. I'm gonna keep talking to you. Opius the thief stole my purse and I... Whoever wrote this did not get to finish. Mmm... Because I want to try stealing. Is stealing for sure breaking the golden rule? Isn't that just something that people have sort of assumed? Because they don't know exactly what breaks the golden rule, they just... don't steal. Alright? A bottle of Silphium Resin, an extremely valuable ancient Roman remedy. Okay, so if I know how stealing works in Skyrim... Why is he coming over here? Like, if I try to, like... Do I have to be in... Hey, Virgil! How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I gonna defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the Magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Ugh. I'm expecting my cursor to turn into like... Like, you know how in Skyrim, does it... ever go away? Well, stealing has to not be a sin, right? Hold on though, it says steal. There's no way Decius is gonna sell me the Selfium. Steal it. Well, would you look? The many shall suffer oh. for the sins of the world. Oh God! Oh! I was just gonna say, hey, it looks like stealing is not. Oh. Oh, he's terrified. That's too bad. Oh. Oh, I can run. I can run. 
Well, you've been... What? You're moving! Mmm. Okay. I see, I see. People are chased. Ooh. But you know what, though? It's different because I'm being hunted right now, but I'm not dead yet. No, I can keep going around. <laughs> it's not very fruitful. But for future reference, I feel like this might be a good thing to know. Just because you break the rule doesn't mean immediately you'll die. Although it's not a good thing because everyone else who doesn't run as fast as you is probably going to die. Oh, we have a flashlight. No? Sentius? Oh, jeez. Dude, Sentius already sacrificed himself. Let me guess. <sighs> okay. So we didn't die. We didn't die. What will happen if we die? Do we still just... <gasps> oh! Uh, salve, friend. I'm oh! Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? You see what happened, though? Because I didn't die? I stole the thing and I still have it on me. Now I can give it to that woman before her friend dies. Oh! I'm Walensius, and we've had this conversation before. Uh... I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to see Sentius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem. I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Zipline handlebar, a rudimentary wooden zipline handlebar for me to escape faster, escape easier. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang onto the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Thanks, I'll be going now. All right, see you around. Okay, so you know how in Skyrim, when you crouch, it shows you if someone's looking at you or not? But remember how we saw the graffiti said, everyone's always looking. So I think immediately, if we ever steal, that's just gonna happen again. And okay, we've confirmed that stealing is a, a sin. It breaks the golden rule. These people are still kind of alive. Salve. I'm gonna go give Lucretia this this uh thing. This resin thing. Oh jeez. The myth of the golden rule by Dorotes the Younger. As per our custom, I shall begin by paying my respects to the god responsible for the city, for our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion. He deserves our admiration. But here. I must depart from custom, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching, and deserving of our contempt. Who among us has not awoken at night in a cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the golden rule? All of us must accept that we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment or a conscious decision based on faulty reasoning. Yet the great threat, the sword of Democles, that we live under is, I believe, merely a deception. And I shall prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing the counter-arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscription stating, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one, is evidence that the golden rule is very real. But that is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writers knew any more than we did. That this message was inscribed does not make it true, any more than if I were to inscribe, Dorotus the Younger is a god. Second, it may be argued that the statues in this place are evidence that the Golden Rule is real. You need not remind me of that. It was I who discovered them all around the city. 
It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart, and placed them in niches in which they sit today. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the conclusion that they were once real people. I do believe this. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. When we read the story of Venus bringing Pygmalion sculpture Galatea to life, we do not believe it is true. Why should we take a different view here? But ultimately, these arguments are just that. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove that the golden rule is a falsehood, and that is through action. You can see this guy is already a golden statue here. Friends, I apologize in advance for this, but one day, you will see this moment as a turning point in our city's history. Let us see, once and for all, if the golden rule is real, as I strike one of you with my fist. This person sounds like they want to break the golden rule. Was it you? Hmm. 23 people currently live in the city? But when they came here, before they came here, these statues were already a thing. Ah, uh, these people stand in different spots. So this is still here. Right, and we can talk to him again. We can get the full story with everybody. I don't think we'll ever miss any dialogue, so that's why I was willing to, like, skip over that bit a little bit, because I want to see what happens here. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Kubolates Decius won't give it to me. I have the Silphium resin. Here, take a little. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Yulia. Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? <sighs> Honestly, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Ah, uh, look. If you don't want to tell me, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But no matter. That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Okay... I think we're gonna end off... Actually, I wanna ask about this one. I keep hearing statues whispering. Is that normal? Did we not ask about this before? Oh no. Sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and oh. uh, she went a little mad. Forget I said anything. Anything about what? <laughs> I'll be going now. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. The slowly but surely, we're changing the course of the city. And it's crazy because nobody has to be sad now. Because that guy still has his resin and nobody stole it from him. And I can use this power of time looping and foresight keep you safe. to get to the very bottom of this. We didn't get to see it happen for very long, but once... Yeah, you know what? Earlier when I was stealing, I was mainly focusing on the two guys at the stand, watching to see if they were looking at me, but I bet somewhere... May Apollo keep you safe. A golden statue was staring at me, and once I did that, all the statues' eyes started lighting up too. They're always watching. Someone's always watching. Collectively. Okay, so they are really always watching. Like how I just made this discovery as I was about to end it off. Okay, so yeah, it's not possible to steal with someone not looking then. Do they all do that? I will try to help you. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, this was <laughs> a first look of the Forgotten City. Really interesting. It really is exactly like it said in the beginning. It's mostly just gonna be like 90% just talking to people, figuring out what's happening here. And even just with one loop, we managed to get a bunch of different things that we can do. I do believe in, you know, the guy earlier, the old scroll that we just read. I agree with some parts of this though, like we're all living under the fear of this happening. Which is kind of dumb, right? But unfortunately for this guy, I'm pretty sure the golden rule is real because I have unfortunately experienced the first hand, even though I didn't die. Yeah. I think the golden statues were allowing me to go back in time again. They were saying, I will help you. So maybe the whispers aren't bad things. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting, I really like it so far. This was Wellens with the Forgotten City. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing, and I will see you all in another place, in another time. 2,000 years ago in ancient Rome? Bye!